Hey guys, let me quickly get to the main bit from the couple of days ago. All of us, all of us were so focused on Argentina that when they got through, we thought the worst was over. We thought that there's no more to come. All the big guns will be going through to the knockout stages. They'll have, they have all had some tough roads. So we thought that the worst was over. We thought that all of them will be going through to the knockout stages now. And we were so wrong, man. We were so very wrong. Germany, what were they thinking? For the first time in the history of the World Cup, they are out in the uh, group stages. Uh, not just out in the group stages, they came fourth, the last ranked team in the group. What a loss, what a monumental loss to South Korea. What a win for South Korea. And all the Mexican fans were thanking them due to their 3 0 loss to Sweden. It was an unbelievable day in world football, man. And all thanks, all thanks to South Korea, all thanks to Germany, maybe. No one expected it, especially after their last grasp 2-1 win over uh, Sweden. Now people thought that this is Germany, they'll get back to their winning base, they'll do what they do best, win hard-fought games and then go into the knockout stages and go deep into the competition. Maybe even to the final, I predicted them being in the finals. Uh, but yeah, people are saying that this is worse than Brazil's 7-1 loss from 4 years ago and maybe they're right. Fourth ranked team in their group, a group which was not all that tough, you know. They could have beat, uh, they could have at least got a result against Mexico. They won against Sweden. And of all the teams against South Korea, and to lose the way they did, Tony Cruz, I don't know what he was thinking. He was just shooting the ball instead of passing. Maybe it was, it was in his head that he'll score another goal or something. And uh, still, he was active in the game. There were some players like Ozil, Khadira were just too slow, too dull. And I don't know why they were selected after the 2-1 win over Sweden when they weren't. And yeah, there should have been more pace to Germany's game with Draxler. And you know, Brandt was brought in in the last 10 minutes. It was similar to Aguero's decision of bringing him on in the last 10 minutes. It's too late. And you don't get away with it all the time. And yeah, Joachim Lowe is... Germany FA is saying that they are going to put faith in Joachim Lowe to turn the Germany squad, uh, bring new players in and all that, especially since what he has proved in the Confederations Cup a year ago. Don't know if they are right given how Germany have lost in this World Cup, but now this is the fourth world champions to lose in the group stage in the next World Cup, in the last from the last five World Cups and that's not a fluke or something, it's saying that if you win a World Cup, you don't have to trust the golden generation again. It's like you need to rebuild from start to win the next World Cup. And it's the truth. It takes four years for a World Cup to come around. And by that time, if your players are 28 years old, they'll be 32 years old and maybe a little too old to participate and bring in the same pace which they brought in four years ago. And that's what happened to Germany. Now, uh, they'll have to rebuild, taking out uh, guys like uh, Hummels, maybe even Botang, Cruz, Ozil, Khadira and bringing in players which were which won them the Confederations Cup, bringing pace to the game, especially bringing in Leroy Sané. I don't know how Lowe's going to do that after the mistake he made this World Cup, but he has to bring him in. He's uh, probably the Germany's best player on the basis of current form and the young generation. It's a capitulation for Germany. Thank God Brazil didn't follow suit in the late night game and had a comfortable 2 0 win over Serbia. It wasn't that comfortable, especially in the middle phase. Serbia had a phase where they could have easily won the game uh, and they had lots of created lots of chances. But uh, Brazil took the game by the scruff of the neck with uh, second goal for Thiago Silva. Second goal in the game, first goal for Thiago Silva. Especially after the first goal, which Paulinho scored from a terrific pass from Coutinho. Coutinho looks like he's the real deal. He's Brazil's best player in this competition right now. Neymar, you have to give him some space, especially that he's coming from a three-month injury in layoff and he'll surely get better. And Brazil are top contenders in this World Cup. Yesterday, uh, Colombia went through after one nil win. Uh, drawback was James Rodriguez injury. I think the calf strain has come back for James Rodriguez and it will be tough for him to get uh, playing again 
into the round of 16 game which is which they are going to play against England. Japan was saved by Colombia with their 1-0 win over Senegal. Japan lost the game 1-0 to Poland and yeah, they were they made six changes, leaving out Kagawa, Honda and all the big guns. I don't know why, especially since they weren't through to the knockout stages. They were hoping Colombia beat Senegal and that's what happened. Senegal themselves weren't up to the mark in that game and they missed a lot of chances as well. So they deserve to go out of the competition. Sadly, no African team in the knockout stages of the World Cup. That hasn't happened for a while. It's good that uh, Asian team, especially Japan, uh, typical Asian team is in Nago stages of competition. I hope they get uh, through by beating Belgium, which is going to be a rare thing to see if it happens. In the last of the group stage matches, uh, Belgium and England put in their B teams. All the reserve players were put in, uh, barely any impressed. Adnan Januzai, who scored the goal, winning goal for Belgium, which took them to nine points wasn't that impressive in the game but for that one uh, scoring opportunity which he took brilliantly England on their part Rashford missed a couple of sitters and he was the only one who could have featured in that round of 16 game from the start and now after seeing his performance I don't think uh, Gareth Southgate is going to pick him Ruben lost his cheek was the best player on the field for England if in my opinion and he'll probably get the start in the round of 16 as well It'll be England are in the better half of the round of 16. In the two halves of the round of 16, the left half consists of Portugal, Uruguay, uh, Argentina, France, Brazil, Mexico, Japan and Belgium. It's, it's going to be a tough half to uh, get into the final from. For Spain, it's an easy half. The only major competition being England. England and Colombia, England or Colombia, that's going to be a tough round of 16 game. Other than that, there are, that half is pretty easy with likes of Switzerland, Sweden, Sweden a team who has resulted in the knocking out of Netherlands, Italy in the qualifying stages as well as Germany. They were from the same group and Sweden got that all important win in the final game. So, yeah. Sweden is a tough team to beat. Even Switzerland, it's going to be fun to see who gets out from those two games. And I think Spain has an easier route to the final right now. If they win, even if they don't play their best football, uh, they will have a tough competition if Croatia did meet them in the quarterfinals. But other than that, they have a pretty easy draw. England also have an easy draw given that. All their players are rested. James Rodriguez is injured and they beat Colombia right now. So it's from one half you can see which team is going to reach the semi-final and final. From the other half you can just roll the dice, you know. I hope one thing happens. Argentina versus Portugal in the quarterfinals. Let's pray to the gods that two of the worst teams in the competition containing two of the best players meet in the quarter-final and the best player scores and the best team goes into the semi-final. But they have some tough competition earlier. Maybe France and Uruguay get in the quarter-finals as well. They are looking at the two better teams, overall teams. And it's I still pick Brazil to get out from that half of the draw and meet whoever, Spain or England in the final. It's going to be an exciting knockout stage. Let's stick around, let's roll dice, let's watch some football. And it's going to be a great weekend, starting with Argentina versus France in the knockout stage of competition. I'll keep bringing you updates. It's going to be a fun, fun World Cup. It's been the most exciting World Cup I've ever watched. And I stick by that statement. So, so do stick around, watch the World Cup, wait around for my vlog about the World Cup. Do subscribe to my channel, guys. See you around.